Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and okay. In this video tutorial, I am going to show how to create your very first SQL database using SSNS or SQL Server Management Studio. So to do this successfully, you need you need some requirements. Okay, you need to install some things. These things are you must have SQL Server. It can be any version. Okay, it can be SQL Server 2016, SQL Server 2014, SQL Server 2017, or SQL Server 2019. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to create your very first database using SQL Server 2019 instance. You need another thing else also. You need to install SQL Server Management Studio. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, your very first SQL uh, database uh, in three different ways. The first uh, way would be how to create your very first SQL database using code in SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, using new query window. Then uh, I'm going to show you how to create your very first database using the SSNS GUI, okay, graphics user interface. Instead of uh, write, uh, instead of writing the code, we can create the database from the GUI, okay. And the third thing would be how to create a SQL database, okay, using command prompt, which is uh, known as SQL CMD. <laughs> Let's start then. You need SQL Server instance, okay? And then you have to make sure it is started. Start the SQL Server and then start SQL Server Management Studio. If your SQL Server is uh, installed as manual, then you have to start SQL Server instance. How to start it? Press Control R, okay? And then from there, you have to go to services.msc, okay? And then Go to SQL Server, okay, and there you can find here SQL Server 2019. From there you can see that it is manual. When I'm starting the uh, operating system, it is not started automatically, okay, it is manual. So whenever I'm using it, I'm starting it manually and then uh, after done working with it, I'm stopping it so that my resources can be used efficiently okay so it is started right now so closing it uh, then I'm starting SQL Server Management Studio in my operating system I have installed SQL Server uh, SSMS version 18.7 okay so I'm starting it right now this is SQL Server Management Studio version 18.7.1 okay now we are going to create a database right so you have to connect uh, to database engine so this is i'm using windows authentication i can also use a server authentication sql server authentication okay but right now using windows authentication so i'm connecting it creating a new query new query video uh, i have shown how to create a new query how to save it and how to open it so i hope that you know uh, how to create a new query so here is the icon new query so click on it okay and new query will be created and as soon as it is created you have to save it so pressing ctrl s or here a save icon is there so i want to save it so save the query okay and then i'm i have a folder in desktop sql folder okay and i am moving these files then I'm creating here a new query. This is create database. Okay, create database. Create new database. Okay. Now I'm saving this. All right. So here you can see uh, I'm connected to SQL. I uh, this SQL Server instance is SQL twenty nine. Instant name is SQL29. Uh, if it is not uh, using master, uh, you have to use master. This is a good practice to always use master. So I'm writing. Uh, we are going to use. This is the query window. 
all the things we are going to write or all the code that we are going to use we are going to go to we are going to write it here and we are going to execute those codes from here all right so writing something right now okay use master or you can write the master database as a small letters using masters if it is not okay then already it is in master by default so i'm also saving it control s and then i'm checking the query it is okay and then executing it so i'm in the master right now i want to create but you need to know the full syntax and how to uh, but first uh, you need to know how to comment okay uh, in sql server management studio okay we can comment in two different ways we can use double dash to use a single line comment okay as a single line comment or you can use forward slash and then asterisk sign and then asterisk again and then forward slash again in this way we can use multi-line comment okay So we are going to use, I'm showing it right now because I'm going to use this multi-line command to display the full syntax. Okay, the very first thing you should know that what is the full syntax, to the full syntax of create database. Okay, in this video tutorial, our focus is to create a new database. Let's see what is there within our database, within this SQL Server instance. We, have, we didn't create any database yet but the built-in system databases are these master database model msdb and 10 db okay these are the system databases here i'm i'm bringing the multi-line command i'm copying it again okay uh, i'm using i'm going to use it to display the full syntax okay here i'm going to, i can write full syntax what is the full database create syntax okay this is the full database create syntax okay the full database create syntax i have copied it here and i paste it this is the full database create syntax okay this and more more of these are here than option we can use option this is the option and this is the file stream option and this is file specification option okay and this is file group option and this is service broker option so the main part is this the main part is create database you have to write create and then you have to write database and then you have to use the database name this is mandatory portion you have to use these two keywords Q create keyword and the database keyword and then you have to use a database name and then these are the things all the things that are written in third bracket or square bracket this is optional the first one is optional the containment it can be none or it can be partial uh, it can have if you are declaring database or creating a database without a specification then you don't have to use this on if you are using file specification okay its size its file growth primary file okay it's log file then you can use this on portion okay this is also optional and if you are not going to use a specification then by default set up uh, whenever you are going to create a new database the default uh, creation uh, process um, will be applied collate collation uh, name it is also optional and with options it is also optional and using uh, using a separator a statement separator okay the what we know as semicolon this is also optional i want to use go again and here i want to separate it okay now i'm creating create this is the keyword create keyword and this is the database keyword and right now you have to use the database name so our very first database name would be test db okay it is your choice that it, it will be uppercase or it will be sentence case or it will be small case so you can use any name you like but you have to follow some rules 
uh, I'm uh, I'm explaining those rules a little later uh, within a short while okay but the very first thing that you need to know is uh, you can use statement separator semicolon there to mention that this is the database so a database will be created and the database name would be test db this is the this, this is the simplest method this is the simplest this is the easiest way to create a new database uh, where the database name would be test db okay uh, and but this is this is the syntax okay this is the syntax so now you know the full syntax if, if you are going to use the options here then you have to use this option okay the system if you want to use file uh, stream options okay then you can use file strips options from there here you can use file streams like within the options you can use file streams so if you use file streams then you have to use these file streams specifically the syntax if you are going to use file specification then you can use this file specification syntax okay uh, file group it is same and also service broker option it is this one okay so in future when we are going to learn more about it then we will explain those things but right now what are what are the things that you need to remember you need to learn uh, as an absolute beginner as an absolute beginner you should understand that this is the syntax these are the things that we can use to create a new database using SQL code uh, two keywords uh, mandatory create keyword and the database keyword in SQL server it is a good practice to use um, block letters or it is a good practice to write your code or write the keywords in block letters uh, or in capital letters what are the rules to write a database name okay here you can see that it is database name okay so there are some rules about database name so here we have written the name of the database is test db right so we need to know the rules what are these rules database name this database name is the name of the database or the name of a new database right this database name must be unique within an instance of sql server like we are using sql server 2019 right the instance of the sql server is 2019 you can use you can install more than one instance in your operating systems okay but within a within an instance like just like this one sql 29 we can create only one database named as test db yes this is the rule that an instance can have only one uh, database if you use different databases then those database names uh, should be unique so the rule is database names must be unique within an instance of sql server and that must comply with the rules for identifiers okay and the database names the maximum the, these uh, the maximum limit is 128 characters but whenever you are going to create a new database without file specification then by default log file will be created okay primary file will be created and whenever those files are created uh, extensor file extensor will be used you can use only 123 characters you need to know that whenever you are going to create a new database the database name must be unique within an instance of an sql server like we are using sql 2019 this is an instance and within this instance of sql server we can create only one database named as test db okay and this is the creation process where you didn't check the existing database without ex without in, without checking any existing database uh, you can create a brand new database uh, just by using these three uh, uh, these three words right create word database keyword and the name of the database okay this is a step this is a step and this step is known as step one like when you are an absolute beginner okay 
like you can create a step one uh, creating a database without file specification creating a database to do this you need to know that you have to use these two keyword create and database and these two keyword should be written in capital letters because this is a good practice to write the keywords in block letters and the name of the database you need to remember two things that here the name if you do not uh, give the file specifications then the database name has to be within 123 characters and this has to be unique okay let's create this one so and another good practice is always use master before creating a database because you can be anywhere you can be you, you can work with any other databases whenever you are going to work with other databases if you forget to mention use master then it will not be created properly so it is a good practice to use the master so i'm executing this master again so how to execute it select it and then test it out whether it is okay or working or not okay now it is uh, the commands completed successfully and then you have to execute it it is executed now you have to check it uh, whether the syntax is correct yes the syntax is correct and now you can execute it when it is done it, it will be it will be shown and if you refresh the database okay you will see a test database a database named as testdb is created so this is the simplest way now you need to check this database right you need to check the details of the database using sql code now how to do it to do it you need to run a query okay to you need to run a query and this is a select query and i want to use the star i want to use the star i want to see all and from what from system system dot databases system dot databases or you can or i can use another version of it okay like sys databases I don't know where I have already created a new database named as TSDB, but I need to check the system, the default setup, where it is created, I don't know, and its size, how many files were created, okay, I don't know right now. So how to check it out? You can run this query. This is a simple select query, okay, select a star, that means select all columns, a star or asterisk represents, this asterisk represents select all columns, from where? From a specific location this is a view this is a view and this is a built-in view like a, by using this view you can check all system databases or you can use another view named as system database okay system dot databases or system database by this is this is the longest uh, this will bring all the available columns and most details will be here okay uh, but here it, it will uh, it will simplify some of those it will a lot less columns system databases so i'm uh, using this i'm running this query so select it so how to do select it then check it out whether it is okay yes you can also save it Control s uh, saving it right now and then you can execute okay here you can execute whenever you are executing it you will see from the GUI, we can see we have master database, we have tempdb, we have model, uh, we have msdb, and then testdb. You see the details are here. So you can see, check the details. All the things are here. A lot of things are here. Okay. So I don't want to see all those things. So I am doing it. I am running the second one. The second code, execute it using this icon and then can execute yes this is this is the simplest one so this is the test TV okay and this is the ID okay and this is the status all right and the location is default location is this okay default location is this one you can also enlarge it and you can check it is in J drive okay and it is within MS SQL data folder and there is a for their database named as testdb you can also check master files okay you can also call master files if you copy this okay and in your like here you can 
paste it okay and you can check data yes how many things are there this is the for this is directory okay one is testdb.mdf and another is testdb log this is the this is default creation procedure okay this is the default system well, we can also check this using another query okay i'm running that query again like we can call this another built-in view is there which is master files system dot master files SQL server management studio intellisense as soon as you are driving bringing system then you can see master this is also a built-in view you can see the master files how many files are there execute it and then if you execute you will see these are the master files okay here you can check testdb this and testdb underscore log file how both files are there okay and these are the details and uh, we have we have checked uh, we have checked the master files that these are the databases okay these are the databases uh, right now okay testdb.mdf file and uh, whenever we are going to create a new database two things uh, two database files are created one is the mdf file and another is the ldf file master database file and another is log database file but in 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 sql query window we can check we can check uh, these two things okay we can check how to check it out you can run a stored procedure it is called exact or you can write execute exact is the is the short version of execute or you can write execute okay execute sp built-in stored procedure is there sp help okay help db and then we can write the name of our database the name of our database is testdb so i'm copying it here and then writing it here then if you execute this stored procedure this is a built-in stored procedure okay so execute help db if you execute it okay check it the master files these are the master files okay these are the databases okay this is the database but here it is showing a lot of dates when it is created and it is the location but i want to see its file growth its size okay and other things so to know more about those things you can execute these stored procedure so if you execute this stored procedure then you will see that the exact details of these are the file id and the location uh, where it is created and these this is the primary file group testdb and this is the by default you need to understand the second thing is the very first thing is that you need to understand the database full syntax you need to know you need to familiar with the database full syntax i have already shown the database full syntax and it is already here you see it is already there this is the full database syntax and then uh, uh, as the as an absolute beginner you you have to understand that uh, how to create how to create a database without file specification this is the this is only three words how we can create a new database using only these three things or, or only these three words okay then next uh, you need to understand by default by default what is created exactly by default two files are created one is test db another is test db underscore log okay one is dot mdf file here you can check one is dot mdf file and another is ldf file okay and this is the file location and the first one is the primary file group and the second one is null because we didn't mention file group there for the second log file okay and the default size is 8192 kilobyte which is 8 megabyte okay and the maximum file size is the for the primary one it is unlimited and this one is data only and this one is log only okay so this is these are details okay this is the testdb and this is the database size and right now the database size is 16 megabyte okay the owner of this database is this and it is created and its status is online okay and compatibility level so by calling this stored procedure you can learn about newly created database okay now what we are going to do we are going to create 
we are going to use the step two okay we are going to use uh, we are going to create a new database we are going to create a new database okay step two creating a new database without file specification but this time we are going to add a little bit we are to check after checking existing databases okay after checking existing databases how to check the existing database you see how to check the existing database i am I'm bringing it down right now okay this time whenever we have created this one we didn't check whether there is a database named as testdb is it existing or not we didn't check it but this is a good practice that you should always check whether the database name database is already existing or not if it is existing then you have to drop it first and then you have to create it now we are going to uh, create a database but this time i don't want to create the database directly i want to check whether this database is existing or not if it is existing then we are going to drop it because uh, we know that uh, this is a fresh database uh, we didn't do anything extra with this database name okay that's why i'm doing it but before you are going to drop any database you must always check that uh, is it a, is it necessary is it essential or not you, you have to be confirmed about it before removing a database right now i'm going to check i'm going to create uh, the same database but this time i want to check whether it is already there or not because we can create uh, the, the according to database name rule we can use only one unique database in an instance sql instance in our sql instance we have already a database named testdb but i want to create this test database again uh, i will find out whether it is existing or not what is the code for that i have to write always use master so this time i am also writing again use master because this is a good practice okay use master here intelligence is showing this one then i'm using go and then i know that i'm already in master but this is a good practice that you have to use this in future you are going to learn these conditions how to check but right now there is a method named db okay database id there is a method name database id you see there is a method name database id and this is a method and it is taking it is taking an argument and what is that argument the name of the database if you hover over this method you will see an expression of non boolean type non boolean type is verified okay so here here you can see dbid database name in var, in var character 128 returns a small int okay so here you can write the database name so i'm using test db and writing test db you can write test db in this way and then you have to write something as is not null then drop database test db i want to get out and here another good practice is this has to be a string so to mention it we can use single quote okay so this is a good practice to use any string uh, this is the name of the database okay so what we are doing here here we have used uh, we are checking with a condition which is if and there is a method okay built-in function which is dbid and it is going to check the name of the database okay it is going to take only one argument and with the argument is non boolean argument and it has to it is the database name so if it is going to look for within the system it is going to look for this database if the database id is not null okay if the database is id is not null you can see the database id you see if you see if you execute this one field id okay field id but if you execute this one you can see database id here here you can see test db here you can test db here database id is 5 right database id is 5 here also if you execute this here you will see 
database db id is 5 right so we have a database id if the database is existed then there has to be a database id if there is no database id if database id is null for this database name okay then if it is not null if it is if it is if the result is true if the database is existing then we are going to drop this database after it is dropped we are going to create it again using the create create database test db right after that we are going to check it okay we are going to check the status uh, and we are going to run a query and this query is going to be same thing select star okay from the name database name would be test db is a statement a, a, a statement we have a database if you refresh this you see you will see that we have an existing database name as test db okay so we are going to run all this code the first one is going to use master and the second one is going to check whether the database is existing or not if it is existed if the result is true then it is going to drop the database the name of the database is test db and after dropping there will be no database and then syntax we are going to create using the default setup okay default creation process we are going to create new database named as test db and then we are going to run a query okay uh, i am going to bring in all i am going to bring all the columns from the system master file okay i want to check the mdf file and the ldf file and i am specifying only one database name i don't want to see all the database names that's why i'm using is so we can run this the whole thing at a time okay so i'm running it right now checking whether it is okay or not okay and then i'm going to execute it you will see if you refresh it you will see the database is dropped first then it is created again and then i'm going to check its its details i'm going to check its details the database name is 5 id is 5 okay and i don't want to see all these things all these details okay instead of all these details i can minimize it okay i can create a short version of it i can i can use an alias i can use an alias as master file mf okay and then i can call mf dot i want to see some of the things i want to see the name i want to see the name here you will see the name okay then i want to see mf dot uh, its size okay i want to see its size and here in the name option you can see this is you can also use this i want to find the size here what we have done we are aliasing we are you we want to check its uh, you know, columns by using alias you can uh, you can use its column very easily using intellisense okay dot size and this time we are going to use an expression that i want to multiply it with 1.0 and to divide it by 128 I want to write size in megabytes okay this is an expression I'm using the same thing I'm using the same thing but this time I want I'm using an alias so that I can have its columns easily whenever using mf dot it is going to show its name the available columns you see all the available columns here with the specific details like here i'm using an expression okay and you can also use this font color okay by using the tools options and then font and colors and i want all the numbers okay i want all the numbers to be magenta okay here i'm using i mean i'm che i'm checking the size again but this time i want to multiply with one and then i want to divide it by 128 so that i can have the megabyte size if it is written in kilobyte here we can see that it is 
size is written 1024 okay it is in kilobyte okay so this time if you are going to call this see whether it is okay or not each column you have to use a colon whenever we are going to learn more about queries okay we will check it out but for now you can check this way so check it whether it is okay and execute you will see there is a name an existing database is there then the database name is testdb and the size is 1024 and the size is in megabytes it is only 8 megabytes you can execute this to check the details of the database here you can see the default setup default by default the size is max size you didn't declare you didn't specify the max size that's why it has taken unlimited as max size okay and the normal growth is 64 uh, 65000 kilobyte that means 64 megabyte right the normal growth is 64 megabyte if you are using a uh, sql server uh, 2016 or higher then the default file growth is 64 megabyte and the default log file size would be 64 megabyte so in this video tutorial uh, I have tried to show you how to create your very first database uh, without file specification and without checking existing database first and then after checking existing database and you have also learned how to drop a database how to drop an existing database and you have also learned how to check uh, an existing database and how to drop the database and before creating the database yeah, you want to check you want you can you want to share this query how to share this query the final thing would be how to share this query so you can right click here and then you can open containing folder and here is the containing folder which is in our desktop okay well, we have a folder named sql within desktop and there we have created the create new database okay here is the file sql.sql file you can share this file with others okay they can use or you can use this code all right if you want to share the database then you have to go to you have to go to the database file you can you can run this okay you can run this and whenever it is there you can copy this path and then you can paste this part here okay you can paste this part here and then instead of test mdf okay instead of test mdf you can just place it there and you will see here you can also share these databases the database and then others can attach this database if they know how to attach databases okay in this way you can share this the master database file or log file or you can share this sql query okay in this way you can share this file with others i hope that you have understood that how to create your very first database using uh, sql server 2019 instance and sql server management studio if you like our videos then please don't forget to like share and subscribe you are always welcome to share this video with others see you in the next video until then take good care of yourself